So behind me I have a 2019 Freightliner DD15 and I'm going to show you how to use OTR Diagnostics to be able to connect to this truck using the OTR Diagnostics mobile application and also the OTR Link adapter. We're just going to go and click connect. Once we click connect we're going to go through the pairing which is going to be obtaining vehicle data, we're going to be connecting to your engine, we're going to get all the information from your vehicle to make sure that the app is configured specifically for your truck. We're going to go and just look at the fault codes. We have three active fault codes here um, and in the fault code section we just explain all the fault code details which means active, inactive and what ghost codes mean and then we're just going to click the view vehicle fault codes. Um, which is just practically just going to mean that we're just going to view all the fault codes of this vehicle. And on this truck specifically, it doesn't look like we have any active engine fault codes or inactive engine fault codes. It looks like we just have some tire pressure controller fault codes. And a lot of times what you could do is just click into the fault code and you get more information about what the fault code is and how to troubleshoot it. And on the fault code screen, you can have an option at the top right corner to be able to print the history. And then you also have information to share it depending on what you're looking to do and you also have access to the history of the fault code. So if you tap the history button at the top right corner of your fault codes page, you get access to the history, which you're gonna be able to view the history of this vehicle. You're gonna see all the history of your commands and your fault codes and everything you do in the app is stored in the cloud. So you'd be able to reference that information later. It just really depends on what you're looking at. Um, so we're just going to go back to fault codes, we're just going to go and, and take a step through in the, into the command. So we have this taskbar at the bottom of the app that goes in through the different sections. So you got home, fault codes, commands, live data, and history. And your commands is really what is going to be able to perform a function. All this happens over Bluetooth, so if we want to reset the fault codes, you go to reset fault codes, you click continue, you make sure your key is on, your engine is off when you do this. So just make sure you follow this and then just says reset fault codes is in progress. And it's gonna say, hey, this may take a little bit of time. So you might wanna just wait. And then once it completes, it just says, hey, this completed. And you can go ahead and it goes back to the menu. So here it says reset fault codes have been successful. We're gonna go through reset after treatment. Here we have two commands, reset your DPF ash accumulator and reset your SCR ash accumulator. And then here we have force DPF regen. Here's where we get more information about your regen and we go through the regen process and we practically go in through more information about how to start a force DPF regen, what you're going to have to do on this specific vehicle. And once it's started, it's going to just go run through its paces and it's either going to say that regen started, regen failed, depending on what, if the vehicle is obviously not running, the regen is going to fail and it's just going to let you know that. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and continue into live data. Here we got more information about your live data and here we're going to go through and we have your DF tank level, your DF tank temperature, we got your EGR valve position, your mass flow rate. The data is changing very quickly and it's all live. So as you're driving down the road, you get different information and different values depending on what your driving conditions are. Also with live data, you got a list mode and you also got a grid mode. And under your grid mode, you also have a way of making that your full screen at the top right corner. So when you do that, it pretty much just turns your phone into a full information as far as it gives you all the parameters. Also with live data, if you click a specific data point, it gives you more information about that data point and it just kind of tells you more information about it. So it's really good for you to kind of do more troubleshooting, especially if you don't know what this specific parameter means, you get more information. We're always constantly making updates to that. So it's definitely going to be a consistent update and enhancement that we do on a constant basis. Also with OTR diagnostics now, if we we click the top left hand OTR symbol, we're going to get access to more information about our account. Um, we get account details, vehicle information. We also get support where we get access to different support tickets, frequently asked questions, and you can also call us or text us for support. Um, you get access to our settings, which you can change this from light mode to dark mode, depending on your driving conditions, what your preference is. Um, you get access to change the values of all the data in OTR Diagnostics from metric to standard or standard to metric, depending on what you would prefer. And then we also have what's called auto lock, which just means that the app is not going to close and it's going to override an auto lock feature. I'm using an iPhone, so it's specific to iPhone, at least at right now. Um, so this auto lock feature just means that your phone is not going to go in the background or your screen's not going to turn off if you have your auto lock on. OTR Diagnostics is able to give you a lot of information right from your mobile device. If you'd like to learn more information about OTR Diagnostics, you can visit us at otrperformance.com for more information. Thanks for watching.